Hey Ubes, uh, Vader here. Uh, this is a, just a instruction on how to remove these uh, surface mount LEDs. Um, and I'm going to remove this one right here. This is the uh, V-belt indicator that is uh, worn out basically. Uh, the LED does not work. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. Basically it's cathode, which is ground, and anode, which is positive. Okay, got nothing. Okay, no LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff called Chip Quick. Okay, this is a flux. Okay, it's a flux pen. Kind of dab it just to get it started. And then you apply it to the, to the solder, each solder side. Okay, whether it be, especially on surface mount, uh, if it was uh, like a resistor, right here, let me get a little closer. If it was a resistor, uh, let's say like one of these, okay, uh, how close can I get? Yeah, one of these dudes, uh, you would do the same. You'd, you'd tap it, okay, just soak it good on that contact and on that contact, okay, and what it does, put flux on there for the chip quick to adhere to. Now, this is the chip quick. It's expensive and it's very brittle. So all you do then is just you heat it, you heat the heat the contact the solder point, heat it up, and apply chip quick. And it's got real low, like I think it's like 30 degrees uh, temperature. Uh, in fact, I had to dial mine down. In fact, I should dial it down a little bit more. Uh, uh, melting range and it melts fast. And that what that means is. That allows me to basically, since I've got it attached to this now, I'm going to turn the board here so it's easier to work with, is to remove this, okay? It makes it easier to remove. Um, okay, can I zoom in here a little bit to this? Uh, let's try that. Oops, wrong way. Let's bring her down. Bring her down so I can zoom into her. Like that, put some light on. Ooh, that might be too much. Yeah, that ain't too much. Okay, anyways, guys, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Heating it up, okay? Heat it up, and it allows you to remove it just like that. Okay, and then you just clean it. Once you got the uh, bad, uh, bad diode uh, pulled, let me see here. I get a focus on that. Uh, come on, camera, focus in. And bring her out then. Anyways, that's the dial there. That's the bad dude. I don't know if you can see that or not. Focus on me. But anyways, that's a service mount LED. And it's bad. So, then what you do is once you've removed that, um, you can, uh, you know, you basically heat it up good, clean it off, um, and then I'm going to apply a uh, normal solder to it. As soon as I can find my damn solder piece here. There we go. Um, I'm going to apply some solder to this. And obviously the solder is different. It works differently. So anyways, that's see now that's ready to uh, apply a new diode. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a new diode. And it's not supposed to be an instructions on diodes, but on how to remove uh, on uh, service mount, but I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm going through here a little bit to um, alright, where'd you go? She flew away. Alright, well, let me go. grab another one. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay. Now, that's the way they come. They come in little packs like this, little rails, they call them, you know. Um, 
or um, what the hell they call these? I can't remember. But anyways, um, anyways, that's this. This diode is rated at 3.5 volts. It'll go to 5.8 uh, volts DC. That's pretty. I don't need that no more. I don't need that no more. Um, but they're running, voltages on here are running again at uh, 3.8 volts. So uh, 1.9 to 3.8. So hard little dudes to get a hold of. That's for damn sure. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply just. I'm going to drop it on here basically. Okay. Come on. There it goes. Okay. 